Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So, a completely different style of video today. Um, not something I was ever really going to make, but um, over the last year, I have had quite a few people asking how I do certain things on the channel, uh, mainly how I capture the action pictures. Now, I'll, as I'm talking now, I'll put a couple of different pictures up. This is this is now my thing. Um, I love building, I love running, running them. I love building them more than I love running them. But when I get them out to run, I really, my, my whole thing that floats my boat is trying to capture a really good action shot. Now, before we start, as the thumbnail says, this is getting really good action shots, but on a budget. So what I mean by that is I don't have the best of gear and uh, I don't plan to. I'm quite happy doing running this channel on a budget and that means that all the money I get in just goes into the RC cars because as we all know they're, they're, they're expensive enough. Um, so just on that, everything I film on it's just an iPhone X or iPhone 10 or iPhone XR, can't remember what it's called. Um, that's a, a new phone, my old one packed up on me um, and that was an iPhone 7. And for the first probably 18 months of the channel, everything was filmed on an iPhone 7. As I say, now we're onto an iPhone 10. The video quality is much better. Um, much, much better, actually. So I've also, microphone wise, I've got an $18 Amazon um, microphone, which cheap and cheerful, but it does the job. This is a, a light unit, like an LED light that I use for close up stuff. So I'll just bend it down, fold it under the table, click the microphone on cheap and cheerful but again it does the job you know I'm not in a position and I don't want to be in a position where I've got big microphone here and that. I'm that's never what this channel was about um, I think the video quality is good enough for what I do with the gear I've got so I'm reasonably happy with that anyway so the point of this video people have asked me how do I get my action shots um, there's a there's a little trick I use which I didn't invent this trick, but I did come across it myself. But since then, I do know that other guys use it. Um, so I'll show you that. So as I make this video, I'm going to do um, screen footage. I'm not sure how that's going to come onto the main video, so you can actually see me doing a couple. Because yesterday I was out with a Monster Beetle doing a running video. Um, so I've got a couple of clips left, so it's perfect to show you how I get to my action shots through that. Um, just there's one thing you've got to do um, when you see a really nice action shot all those pictures you've seen the cars are actually moving um, it's impossible with this setup to get that kind of picture using your phone and, you, and doing it as a photo it's impossible so the trick is you get your photo from the video footage so um, I use a couple of things obviously you've got to get the car as close to the camera as you can now this is a tripod unit that I've used for a, well since I started this channel um, so it gives you the option of just being a bog standard tripod like that but that's as low obviously your phone goes here that's as low to the ground as it'll go so the, I'm going to show you the other one but the, that's holding the camera right now but another good thing about this one is what I like it folds up but it also can become a selfie stick so you can adjust it now that's awesome when you're following the cars round um, you look a you look a twit doing it, but um, it's it's a great effect. Get your camera on, set it up, and put so you're holding this right down to the ground, and then follow the car along. It's a great. It, it's difficult to do, and you'll you'll do like two minutes of footage, and you'll end up getting a good ten seconds out of it because you can't keep the car in the frame. But um, yeah, again, cheap and cheerful. That was thirty dollars from Amazon, um, and as I say, I've had that since. Um, the beginning of the channel so i'll just switch i'll just put the camera onto this one now and i'll show you the other thing i've just bought so this is the other thing i've just bought now i've only had this a couple of weeks and i used it for the first time yesterday on the monster beetle running video and this does things way better than the um tripod that i've just showed you um the i the two reasons you've got, i've got this is so you've got your obviously your handle gun handle phone goes there but it's so much with that one you're holding it like that and you've got to do that this one you've just got better control to do you, you get your footage and i really like that but and this is this is a really good thing so this turns into a tripod like that now that is way lower than that one and that's the key that i've i found yesterday i got some epic action shots yesterday and it's because the camera's lower 
Now the difference is obviously I can't put them side by side, but um, if I put this one to there, the, the from there the camera will be about there. Don't so, don't look a lot, but on pictures it makes all the difference in the world. So yeah, I'll I'll be using this one all the time now for that kind of thing. So before I get into and show you how I do it. Um, there's a couple of things you've got to know. First of all is your video settings on your camera. They've got to be turned up full. Go into your camera settings, whatever it is. And if we're talking, we're talking phones, not professional cameras. Remember, this is on a budget. Um, to go in and make sure that you're you're on your maximum frames per minute and stuff like that. Um, I shoot in 4K, um, but I've been told that 1080 and I think it's 64 frames per minute is good or if not better than than 4k again i'm no expert but uh that that phone set up for um as good as it can be quality wise and um, the other thing to note is your weather conditions are and the color of your car they're the most two important things that will make your pictures pretty crappy if it's dull rainy wet damp your, your pictures will just not turn out well oh that's what i found in my experience it's got to be a really nice day for the lighting um just on that as well the color of the car if you run a dark car something like a wild one even in great conditions in my experience the camera really struggles to get it crisp whereas you run something like a monster beetle that's red or something bright your pictures are automatically better um that again that's just something i found i don't go in and tweak settings and things I, I i i film and if i get good pictures at the end of it it's great if i don't you know i don't lose any sleep um so the key is before I, we go on to the phone you've got to set your tripod up you cannot do it by hand you might think you're steady and you've got it like that no your, your camera your camera's got to be absolutely fixed in one position put it on a video set record and then just go get the car and just rag it as close to the camera as you can try you know spinning the dust up and things like that or on a ramp get it as close to the ramp as you can making sure you're capturing whatever bit you want to capture um and what i do i set it up and i just rag the car around for i don't know 30 seconds to a minute just different directions and as you'll see from the footage that's what allows me then to um, get these really cool action shots so, so let me get out, jump onto the phone and I'll screenshot it and voice over it and hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll edit it in such a way where you see everything on the screen. But the key is, as I say, take your action shot from the actual video. Because obviously if you do a, if you do a photo with the pixelation, whatever your camera is, you won't be able to blow it up too big. And it, or if you do, it'll start to distort. Your video's got much, way more greater capacity to be blown up but you still have to get that car pretty close to the camera. Anyway, let's let's give this a go. Right, so this is a video itself. Now, if I just press play, I'll just move it forward a little bit, you can see it's just a car sort of ragging around and trying to bring it as close to the camera as I can. So I'll pause that and then take it back. <clears throat> so what I do, I pause it and I just move it forward with my fingers until I get to something that I think might make a good picture. Like this little segment here. So what I do now, if you just zoom it in a little bit, and then we'll just move it with my finger frame by frame. Let's just break it a bit smaller. So you can see the idea. And if you do it like this, you know, you, all of a sudden you start getting really cool photo opportunities. Like that with its front end diving, and then the wheels coming up. I like that one. So let's do that one. What I'll do is I'll, I'll make that bigger then. I wait till that little line disappears, which I don't know if you'll see. And when I'm happy with it, yeah, I want it a little bit smaller than that. Right, when I'm happy with it, I do a screenshot. Right, and then I save that for later. And then what I'll do now is, I'll go back to the, um, the next one, which is a ramp. So I'll click on this, and as you can see, it's just the car going over a ramp, nothing spectacular. So again, open it up, start to move it with my fingers. So I'll get it somewhere where I want, then I, I bring it up, increase it, and then we'll just move it along a little bit at a time to see a shot that I like. And I like that, that looks pretty cool. Apart from that car in the background, that spoils it, but the actual picture itself is awesome. So then I screenshot that, move that away, shrink that back down. Right, so now we're there with the pictures that are there. What I do need to do is go into edit 
um, and I just want to take some of the side away because as it could because it was a screen grab you have to do that save that and that's that one done and that picture is superb in my opinion let's just move it along and just do the same go into edit press that button just bring that in slightly probably about there and then done and there you go and that's the ramp now obviously I've, I've done these really quickly the more time you spend on them you can get better angles and you can get it crisper but you can see those two pictures how easy that was to get from the video what else I did that car in the background which spoils that picture that's what I was going to say earlier you've got to be very mindful of your background now if I just um, go back into I've done this picture already and what I ended up doing was putting the Tamiya Legends logo where that car was and all of a sudden now that picture looks way better in my opinion but that's you know that's how straightforward it is you can see these and also what I should say is all these pictures have lost quality now because I've saved them from my phone as soon as you save them they're not nearly as crisp as they, um, they were when you first took them so um, yeah that's basically it guys so that's it guys get really cool action shots on a budget now Bear in mind if you're going to go in the comments, this video is about doing it on a budget. You know, if you can all, if you guys have got all the best of gear, then yeah, you're going to get way better results. But in my humble opinion, even with this budget setup, you can get really good shots. And uh, at some point, I will be sort of getting them printed off in large or uh, in large format and getting them um, framed. That's the plan anyway. Whether I will do that, I should do that, let's put it that way. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, something completely different. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching, it's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, um, we normally do RC completely, not camera stuff. But um, yeah, please um, think of consider liking and subscribing supporters, that'd be absolutely awesome. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. And as always guys, happy RCing.